This is Captain Thorson of the U.S. Army Supernatural Operations Corps. You are accused of unlawful magic use in violation of the McGar Linden Act. You have 30 seconds to surrender yourselves. This is your first and only warning. Christ. Cheatham had two high school-aged girls of his own. We have to do this. They're walking bombs. They're probably hiding down there, scared as hell. Dan, I need you focused. I'll do my job, sir. You're only a selfer if you run, Dan. They could have turned themselves in. They had a choice. All right, that's it. Element, go dynamic. To arms, Pyro One. Let's smoke them out. Spare the good Captain Rutledge's men and light her up. Stories three and higher. The Pyromancer stepped out onto the helicopter's skid, the bright fire extending to engulf his entire body. He raised his arms, and the flames curled in on themselves, shifting from red to orange to white. The air shimmered around them, then folded in on itself as the Pyromancer thrust his arms forward. The fire struck the building just above the second floor, punching through the windows. Okay, reel her back a bit. We want to give them a chance to surrender. Okay, support. It's your big day. Let's get on that roof. There's one egress. Think you can cover that? Britton pushed the rotors as hard as he dared. He cleared the roof sides with inches to spare and felt his bones jar as the helicopter made a textbook hard landing. The four assaulters leapt off, Goodman and Dawes covering the entrance. Young and Herzog were already coating the roof with foam to keep the fire from spreading. The metal door flew open, and the boy and girl from the video raced out. Contact front! Get down on the ground! Get down! Britton pulled hard on the collector, adjusting the rotor pitch to get the Kiowa airborne. The girl broke from the doorway, reaching out toward the helicopter. Ah! The gravel on the roof shuddered and spun and coalesced into a humanoid shape, the stone stretching and flowing together into a man-shaped stone creature, eight feet tall. The rock elemental ripped one of the helicopter skids with a gravelly fist, yanking down hard. The rotors collided to the rooftop. <laughs> Cheatham sagged in his safety harness, punching at the release. I'm stuck, sir! Britton could see the girl continuing to gesture. The wind coalesced into human shapes, plunging among the assaulters. The air elementals spun among the assault team their flexing tornado forms, spinning shreds of target, broken gravel, and spent ammunition cases. <coughs> Dawes was knocked flat against the roof's lip. Britain knew that to stop the elementals, they'd have to take out the girl. Where the Harlequin once it or not, we're in the fight now. Doc, we've got sentient elemental conjuration up here. We're pinned down. Britain yanked his pistol from its holster. <laughs> God damn it! I knew this would happen. Britton looked over Cheatham's shoulder to see the boy reap in a tornado of flame. Bullets popped the wall around the selfie, tore holes in his chest and legs as he thrust his hands forward and arced the burning funnel towards Dawes. <laughs> the edge of the blast caught Dawes as he dove to the side. The intense heat ignited the helicopter's side. Cheatham's flight suit smoldered, but the Kiowa's shell shielded him from the worst of the heat. One of the sock assaulters had repelled to the roof and leveled his carbine at the girl. She glanced at him, and the lingering flames erupted, spawning three man-shaped figures. They launched themselves at him, pounding with flickering fists. Young and Herzog turned the fire suppressors on the flame elementals. Dear God, it's the girl. If I don't stop her, she'll fry the whole team. Britton finally punched out of the restraints and fell out of the helicopter. He aimed his pistol at the girl, squeezing the trigger as a rock elemental stepped between them. The misshapen head drove forward. Britton dodged, but it only moved him into the elemental's arms, which pinned his own, squeezing hard. Harlequin's boots landed on the roof. The Aromancer lifted his arms, and dark clouds spun around his hands. The lightning tore the elemental's head off and missed Britton by inches. Rock flowed up to form a new head as the elemental turned to face the new threat, releasing Britain. One of the air elements, its vaguely human outline marked by swirling dust, 
leapt over the helo toward them. Harlequin extended a hand, and the gale swept into it, its shape blurring as it was blown apart. That's one you owe me, Lieutenant! I told you you'd just get in the damn way! Harlequin leapt into the sky, turning toward the girl, only to be caught by another air elemental that had formed itself into a spinning funnel. The air elemental contracted on itself, spinning the Aeromancer dizzy, and both swept over the side of the roof. What the heck? 